Juan Carlos Gamarra, Ambassador of Peru to the United Kingdom, and continuing today with our cycle of bicentennial dialogues, I'm very pleased to introduce Michel Laguerre Kleiman, who will talk to us about Admiral Martin George Guise. Michel Laguerre is a Lieutenant Commander in the Peruvian Navy and holds a Master's Degree in History from Catholic University of Peru. He has authored several books, including Three Marine Heroes from Lambayeque, co-authored with Dr. Hector Lopez Martinez, The Onsenio and the Development of the Peruvian Navy, 1919-1930, U.S. Naval War College and Peruvian Superior Naval, Naval War School, a Historical Partnership in Maritime Security Studies, and The R Submarines of the Peruvian Navy, 1926-1958. Finally, he has also written Guys, a British Peruvian naval officer for all times, a very important book. He is also co editor with Dr. Scarlett O'Fallon and Mauricio Navoa of the book Miller, Military Politician and Peruvianist, 1795 1861. Michel is a collaborating member of the Center for Strategic Maritime Studies of the Institute of Historical Maritime Studies of Peru an associate member of the Corbett Center for Maritime Policy Studies of King's College, London, and an associate member of the Rivaguero Institute of the Catholic University of Peru. Currently, he is the head of the Department of Historical Affairs and Documentary Heritage of the Directorate of Maritime Interests of the Peruvian Navy. So thank you very much, Michel, for being with us today in this, this podcast, and please, begin your presentation. Dear Ambassador, thank you very much for your kind invitation to be part of this project of your embassy that aims to promote the, the, the knowledge of the Peruvian history in these times that we are close to commemorate 200 years as a republic. And, uh, and the issue that you asked me to, to talk in this opportunity is, I think, very important and is the perfect link between the United Kingdom and the Republic of Peru. And um, I think that was one of the reasons uh, why three years ago, uh, one member of the royal family, her, uh, uh, the, the Princess Anne, uh, during his visit in Lima, uh, and build the nowadays unique big monument erected in Lima uh, to honor the memoir of or the memory of Peruvian Vice Admiral Martin Jorge Gise. Uh, Gise, Martin Jorge Gise, as he is known here in Peru. Uh, we should remember that in 1962 another a high rank of the royal family, Lord Mountbatten, that was a, a British Navy officer, uh, visited Lima too. And in one of his uh, statements, he talked very, very good about a uh, Peruvian Navy uh, Vice Admiral Martin Geis. And during the last century, uh, many, many commanders of British Navy warships arrived to, to Callao, and in many of his speeches, they talk about guys and his support to uh, the, the process of independence of this part of Latin America. By the other side, uh, many, many Peruvian warships uh, uh, fight to be uh, exactly hoisted the name of, of guys. Many streets here in Lima and one public school have the name of guys. So who, who is the uh, Peruvian Navy Vice Admiral Martin George Guys? Well, he, he was born in 1780 in, in Gloucester City that belongs to Gloucester's, uh, Gloucester's Territory County in England. He, he, he belonged to an aristocratic family 
Uh, many of, of the members of the guy's family uh, made his career or their careers uh, in the Royal Army, like his eldest brother John, that became a general of the Royal Army, and his eldest brother uh, George Berkeley was member of the parliament, was sheriff of Gloucester, and was mayor of Gloucester, and he studied at Oxford. So uh, the, the guy's family was a very important family to Gloucester. When the father of Martin George Guys uh, died in 1794, the, our, our guy uh, enlisted in the Royal Navy on board uh, the warship uh, Marlborough. And that's the, the beginning of a 21 year of, uh, of, of sailing, of fight, of, of Navy operation process uh, that experimented, uh, that, that guys uh, had the opportunity to develop. He on board uh, 15 warship of the Royal Navy, he, he fight against uh, the French, the Republic of French, and the uh, uh, regiment of Napoleon Bonaparte. He, he sailed and he operated in, in many oceans and many seas. For example, uh, the Caribbean seas, he operate offshore Canada, offshore the United States of America. He operate, uh, he, he, he navigate uh, throughout the Atlantic Ocean in many times. So when the war finished in 1815, he had a, a big uh, Navy experience um, and he uh, achieved in, in, uh, into the Royal Navy, the high rank of, of commander, and, I, and he uh, was the commander of two or three warships. Well, with his own money, he, he, he buy a warship, he buy the guns, he, he uh, call uh, many, many sailors, many uh, ex-Royal uh, Navy officers to, to sail to South America and offer his service to the uh, efforts of the Criollos or the Patriots who was uh, fighting against the Spanish uh, regime. That's why the way how he became a commander of one of the brand new navy of the Chilean navy that started to uh, fight against the uh, viceroyalty of Peru. We are talking about uh, 1818, 1819, and 1820. Uh, he was under the commander, under the command of uh, Lord Cochrane, and he we may say that he was the second in, in experience and in fame inside this, this Navy. When Jose de San Martin arrived to Pisco 200 years ago with a expedition, uh, with a ex expedition that arrived to, to Paracas, uh, guys was part of this effort. Uh, guys lead many naval op operations that help to uh, uh, accomplish or to achieve the independence process. When San Martin uh, stated the proclamation of, of the liberty of Peru, he asked uh, Martin Jorge guys to, uh, to be the first general commander of the Peruvian Navy. And, in, and with the rank of Peruvian rear admiral, he started 
to organize uh, this brand new uh, organization. Uh, this, that was a task uh, so so difficult because uh, we, uh, Peru, as a republic, uh, still was fighting against the Spanish uh, forces. Well, uh, guys uh, achieved to to make very uh, to to make very very reforms to that 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 permits the, the, that allow, sorry, that allow to, to establish the, the basis of the Peruvian Navy. Uh, guys is considered as one of the big uh, columns uh, that the Navy was created. Well, if we compare the 21 years that guys served on board the Royal Navy and the six, seven, or eight years that he served uh, in the Peruvian Navy, we can say that guys achieved his best years and his best honor and his best time here in Peru. Uh, he, he married here, he had two daughters, and he died uh, on board the flagship of the Peruvian Navy. Uh, like Nelson, he died on board the, his flagship uh, during the first international conflict of the Republic of Peru. I, I almost forget, I want to share with you uh, one painting of Admiral Guise, uh, the, the painter of this of this painting, of this portrait, sorry, is a well-known artist, Jose Gil de Castro. I'm going to share a screen. Is here. Well, he's the Vice Admiral Martin Jorge Gise with, uh, with his medals, with his uniform, and this portrait is quite interesting because in 1840 uh, flew across the ocean to England uh, and was um, and was in England until the second half of the last century. This is a portrait that is dated in 1822 and belongs to the to his descendants to the family of Jaime Daitaus and Patricia Pinilla. Uh, well, dear ambassador, uh, I think that's the finish of my brief uh, presentation. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. And I don't know if you have any, any questions. Thank you very much, Michelle. That has been very, very interesting. Um, I would I'd be interested in knowing, does he still have any family in Peru or did the daughters uh, uh, leave Peru? Yes, guys had two, two daughters, Isabel and Mercedes. Isabel didn't get married and Mercedes, uh, yes, she, she married with John Darnell, that was the vice consul of the United Kingdom in, in Peru. Um, and the family, the Arnold guys, had four daughters, the, the Arnold guys family. Uh, one of, of, of the daughters of, of Mercedes married with Emilio Gaitaus Flores del Campo. And another daughter married with uh, Laspar Chavez Moreira. And I am told you that because uh, you may uh, I, I be aware of who is Jorge Chavez. Jorge Chavez Darnell, that is the pioneer of the uh, aviation in the world, was, uh, was a descendant of, of Martin George Guys. And uh, one cousin of Jorge Chavez is uh, the captain of the Peruvian Navy, Juan Gaitaus Darnell that was the chief of 
uh, of the Navy in 1913 and was one of the first uh, Peruvian officers who uh, was in command of the first submarines uh, that the Peruvian Navy buy to France in 1911. So uh, the, the, we, we can say that the Altaus family and the Chavez family are the nowadays the descendant of, of uh, Vice Admiral guys. And we can talk about not in the blood or in the blood uh, roots, but in a family issue that the Bayerista family uh, could be considered a uh, descendant to of uh, nice animal guys. Uh, because we, we should remember that the wife of guys uh, was Juana del Valle y de la Riestra. The, the sister of, for example, Francisco Valle Riestra, Domingo Valle Riestra, Ramon y Miguel Valle Riestra. So, not in the blood branches, but in the family context, the Valle Riestra family is another descendant of guys. Michel, thank you once again very much in, uh, in the name of the embassy, and I appreciate your contribution to this effort we're doing of uh, trying to get to know more about the links between Peru and Great Britain. Thank you very much. You're welcome, dear Ambassador. Thank you very much for your kind invitation. My pleasure.